Liverpool has had a crisis with their defence. Most times their attacking line is so good that they score more than they concede. The spin, and Salah has the run, and Mohamed Salah scores, does it? Who's inside the penalty area and scores! Oh, ball for Nunez! When they don't, it's a nightmare for Jurgen Klopp. With centre-backs going on injuries and unsuccessful transfer windows, Liverpool's defence has been weaker than Wi-Fi passwords for the past year or two. But one kid, Jarrell Kwanzaa, has taken it upon himself to change that. Before we get into the story and know just how good Jarrell Kwanzaa is, please smash the subscribe button right now for more stories like this. Born in Warrington, England on 29th and January 2003, Jarrell Amarin Kwanzaa had shown signs that he was destined for great things with a football at his feet. Kwanzaa had been playing football as early as his preschool years, and maybe this has something to do with his grandfather Samuel Kwanzaa, a former Ghanaian international who migrated to the UK to play football. As for the young Jarrell Kwanzaa, he joined Liverpool's academy at the age of five. Kwanzaa has Liverpool in his blood, and if the team's base colour is red, then I guess that makes perfect sense, huh? It was with Liverpool that he started showing signs that he was destined for great things. Nevertheless, his younger years weren't spent alone playing in Liverpool, but also on the England youth team. Between 2018 and 2020, he featured in the England under-16 and under-17 teams. But it was when he wore red that he would first show qualities of leadership as he was made captain of the Liverpool under-18 team. After his first contract with Liverpool in February 2021, his academy coach Bridge Wilkinson couldn't be more proud of the kid he watched grow up, as he said, It's nice to see them come through all the way from pre-academy to being professional footballers at Liverpool. Jarrell is a great character. His family are really grounded, and we are really pleased to see the progression that he is making. Kwanzaa then led his team to the FA Youth Cup final and finished third in the league. He was definitely making waves now, and as a result, he earned a call-up to the England under-19 team. The season after that, he captained Liverpool again, this time in the UEFA Youth League. But the best moment of his year wouldn't be in a Liverpool jersey, but an English one. You see, in the 2022 Under-19 Euros, Kwanzaa started all games and produced class displays at crucial moments, like his winner against Italy in the semi-finals. And the assist that led to Callum Doyle equaliser in the final. A la vieja usanza Gómez Luna, dos goles de tiro de esquina, los metieron a esta England would go on to win the match, and the Euros and Kwanzaa would get his first taste of national youth team glory and be named as part of the team of the tournament. In January of 2023, he joined Bristol Rovers on loan to get the playing time that would see him develop before going back to Liverpool for the 23-24 season. After his time with Bristol, he made his debut for the Liverpool senior team on August 27th, 2023, during a game against Newcastle United. He had come in as a substitute for Joel Matip in the 77th minute. It wouldn't be long until he would take centre stage at the heart of Liverpool's defence. With Konate injured and unavailable for their away game at Wolves, Klopp had to find an alternative. And Kwanzaa was the answer. Liverpool's trip to Molyneux on September 16th marked Kwanzaa's first full debut for the Merseyside team. Kwanzaa would make Klopp regret his decision to not have started him sooner. Kwanzaa was a beast in this game. He was defensive. He was offensive. He was basically all over the place as Liverpool beat Wolves three goals to one. In that game, he made 80 passes and his 96% accuracy meant he misplaced a mere three. With such a performance, Klopp was smiling after the game and had plenty to say about the young Englishman. He did really well, it was really good, it was a nice, wonderful experience for him, so he came now. Klopp knew then that it was time to make Kwanzaa a regular occurrence on the pitch. In his next game, Liverpool faced Leicester in the League Cup, where he got his first assist, setting up Diogo Jota for the Reds' third goal. So far, he's played 499 minutes, won eight tackles and kept one clean sheet in eight games. Kwanzaa is definitely proving to be the defender Liverpool so desperately needs. This is all because of qualities he has that his peers could only wish they had. Standing at 6 FT3, Kwanzaa's aerial ability reminds us of another Liverpool centre-back, Virgil van Dijk. But a tall stature isn't the only thing Kwanzaa shares with his Dutch teammate.
Kwanzaa may be young, but his football IQ is top tier. His primary position is centre-back, but he can equally perform his duties as a right-back. He knows how to position himself smartly to break down opposition attacks and block their advances, as he has proved to have done this many times. But as solid as he is in defence, that necessarily isn't his strongest attribute. Kwanzaa can also be considered to be a ball-playing defender. Right from his time in the youth team, he has shown that he can start attacking moves just as much as he can stop them. When he has the ball at the back, instead of playing simple low-threat passes to nearby teammates, he's scanning for spaces and a teammate to set on an attacking move. This quality of defending and then transitioning right away into attack makes him a priceless asset to Liverpool. As far as weakness goes, there are very few with Kwanzaa. No doubt Kwanzaa is an exceptional player, but his low level of experience makes Klopp hesitant to start or even even play him in matches against the likes of Tottenham, Brighton and other top clubs in Europe. But it's only a matter of time before this is no longer an issue. Over the past few years, we've seen Liverpool youngsters break through the ranks from the academy to the first team. Trent Alexander-Arnold did it and Harvey Elliott did it. Even club legend Steven Gerrard had a similar path. So far, Kwanzaa has managed to exceed expectations and be the defender that Liverpool so desperately needed. And it's starting to look like he just might be the solution to Liverpool's defensive crisis once he can fully make the first team. Playing under a coach like Klopp and alongside Van Dijk will surely make him a monster of a defender.